guys. You like cooking? Yeah. You like yes. eating? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Show of hands. Hold on. Who likes cooking? Who likes eating? I get worried with those of you who didn't raise your hand for either of those. I'm kind of wondering what you're doing here. Oh, okay. There. I saw some went like this, two hands up. Yeah. All right, guys. So David Porterhouse right there, actually. He's following up with me, actually. Because when I procure a couple of goods, he's actually making sure I'm using this and that it is not finding its way yeah, to my it place. Is, it is okay. Fun. I've tried a lot of smoked salmon in my time. Used to live in La Conner in the Puget Sound. Now we're north of Seattle. I've tried a lot of smoked salmon, and actually, before about one month ago, before trying Dave's smoked salmon at his porterhouse meat market here in Eagle, I had not had smoked salmon this good. This is the best I have ever had. Okay, and I'm not saying that. Dave doesn't pay me to say this stuff. No, I'm dead serious. You think I'm joking? I'll get you hot. Uh. <laughs> now, granted, I may have commandeered a Mountain Dew from him, but all right. So, anyways, um, no, really, I have had none better. And he actually explained the process to me about the brining overnight and a, a brown sugar brine, then drying for a day, and then smoking for a day. And that's it's really an excellent product. I tell you, I had gotten some actually. The week after I had first tasted it, I had a gig for 200 finger food, a variety of stuff, and I went in and I grabbed like armloads of this stuff. Dude, I gotta have your smoked salmon. I was going through withdrawals. Yeah, I was like banging down his door at seven in the morning. I need this stuff. So anyways, it's good stuff. It's very good. So I have some potatoes. I have a variety of stuff all here from the market. Now granted, I mean, you know, so, I mean, I haven't yet found a local supplier for olive oil, or I would be using it. So, granted, I, once in a while I smuggle in a little contraband, okay? Like my Fustoff is from Germany, okay? Pardon me. Okay, but I'm in the same boat you guys are, in that I try to use fresh products, I try to buy local, eat some good food. If I can shake the hand of, that is feeding me, I consider that a huge plus because that personal level of, of accountability really says something. We regularly hear about foods, the food scares, you know what I mean, the concerns, a recall on X amount of millions of pounds of whatever. Whether it's the milk from China, the beef from whatever, the peas or tomatoes or whatever it is this month, that's the mass-produced stuff that we commonly find at the mega market, right? Cheap calories, and if you want to do that, fine, go for it, okay? But you have choices. You have a choice in that you can, and by the way, you can help yourself to any of these recipes back here. Again, compliments from Porterhouse. Dave likes you. I like you. Most of you. And, um, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, um, you're welcome to help yourself to any of that stuff back there. But you have choices. I'm in the same boat you guys are. I'll get some stuff at the grocery store, and I'm shopping on pro price on some stuff. But other times I have options, like some of this fresh produce or farm fresh eggs from right up the road. I'm talking like five miles from here, instead of the common stuff that comes from the grocery store that usually travels about 2,000 miles on a truck to get to your local shelf. Okay, so you have a choice. And there's a lot of different reasons why one may choose to eat local. And, you know, whether it's to get some of those trucks off the road or lessen fuel expenditures or to promote or to uh, support the local economy, there's a lot of reasons. And I'm not going to tell you why, but I just like eating good food. Okay, so, and if I can shake the hand that grew it, raised it, harvested it, smoked it, whatever it is, then I consider that a plus. Okay, to me it's worth that extra buck I'm sitting, you know? Okay. Enough dialogue, you want to eat? Yeah. Come on, dude, man, we have to wait through this to get a sample? Jeez, they don't make me do that at Costco. All right, so I got some excellent rye. So right now I'm memorizing who actually stood through the demo. Because those who come up after, I'm not going to let them try. No. <laughs> so every week I do two demos, one at 10 and one at 12. Loose times, all right, guys? Loose times. I have some wonderful dark rye. I love dark rye. And it reminds me of the apprenticeship I did with Swiss chefs. I like your seat. That's actually really sad. Anyways. Mayor, why is there not oil on this road yet? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> kind of wondering why they didn't finish this for us this weekend. Okay, so I, this reminds me of the apprenticeship I did with Rene Schumperly and Ettore Ravazzolo. And I love rye bread. It's wheat flour and it is... What do you have there, Rachel? You have some good stuff there. Oh, shameless self Oh my gosh. This is pork. Yeah, it is? And, and we were talking about local. Uh, we actually... Uh, 
Come up here. Come here. Okay. Rachel owns Rachel Keys right down the road. Walking distance, right? We're talking local food here, guys. Okay. Local. And this is excellent. I actually tasted this. Is, you do an Asian uh, thing? Asian theme. Cool. We just have a few different things. This is Karabuda pork that we use. It is out of Snake stuff. River Farms. Wow. Good stuff. Um, Kobe beef actually comes out of there, the, the United States Kobe beef. And it's all, they're selling it all over the place, through Las Vegas and everywhere. Anyway, this is something we do out of our shop for our eating menu. We were talking about shame. Stage is yours, babe. I'm on break. <laughs> How much are you paying me? Uh, I don't know. Were you paying me? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Anyway. The satisfaction of knowing your product. We were talking about local <laughs> produce. I thought I would shamelessly bring this down. If you let you try it, we'll leave it back here and let him finish his thing today. Thank you for letting me butt in. I'm sorry. No, I made you butt in. What? <laughs> sorry, I was out here talking. Did she get good, solid information? I know she did. I'm sure she did. Sorry. Right. Cool. Excellent. Very good. That's good, by the way. Uh, uh, someone I know was having some yesterday, and I commandeered a few slices. Good stuff. Good stuff. And she's right about the Kurt Buddha hog. Uh, translated, black pig. Okay? No, serious. I think Berkshire is Berkshire. Okay, I'm sorry. Berkshire is the breed. Okay. We're Berkshire, England, right? Oliver Cromwell, yada yada, the story goes. Anyways, gift to the Emperor of uh, uh, Japan. Comes back to the U.S. now. The genetics are commonly... See, some of the artists and producers are raising the Kurabuda hogs, and also the genetics of the uh, the Wagyu cattle, the Kobe style, the American Kobe beef. Okay, and Rachel does a great job, by the way, down there at um, at uh, Rachel K's Bistro. Nice job in the remodel too. Have you guys been in? Have you guys been in? Great job, beautiful store, excellent. All right. So, anyways, the rye, the dark rye, excellent product, and I think it's going to play well with the smoked salmon and the uh, and the uh, potatoes. Okay. Any complaints? Yeah. Didn't think so. <laughs> you're going to get your dark rye right next door, guys. And you're going to get your potatoes right down there a few steps on the left. You're going to grab your smoked salmon. Dave at Porterhouse has a, a booth set up across the street next to the gazebo. He's selling some nice stuff over there, some chorizo, some lobster rolls, and, of course, your smoked salmon. And um, but your store, Dave, is in what's the name of the complex over there behind the Chevron across the highway? Yeah, just kitty corner across the main intersection. Very nice, very good, very good, very good. And I'm really grateful for the vendors, the local. I'm sorry, the local store owners and businesses that are willing to throw a little product my way, so then you can try it. Okay, and that's the idea. You're then exposed to something that you may not have tried before. Okay, so we get. What should we do? I par cook some potatoes. How did I do that? I simmered in water, hot H2O, simmered the potatoes until they were fork tender. How long? Till they're fork tender. Okay? <laughs> I tossed them while they were hot. I hit them with a little bit of vinegar. I just used a white vinegar. It's a champagne vinegar. It happens to be the white vinegar that I happen to have in my little pantry box here. Okay? I was out of sherry vinegar, but I probably wouldn't have used it anyways. I have balsamic vinegar, but I didn't want the color. This made sense to me. Okay, a lighter color. If you have cider vinegar, if you have what, whatever you want to use. It is a white vinegar. It just so happens to be a white wine vinegar from the Champagne region of France. I also hit it with some olive oil that I had whirled some parsley, parsley and basil into. This much olive oil in a blender, handful of fresh parsley, handful of fresh basil, whirl it for a minute or so. And had I had a strainer within reach, I would have strained out that solid matter. But because I did not, there it is. These are some infused oils I just used to garnish plates. These, this is, uh, these are these little tricks. I'm gonna charge you for this. These are these little tricks that those chefs use when they go de ding on your plate and charge an extra 20 bucks. Okay? So you, for the low, low price, now I'm sounding like an infomercial, I'm sorry. If you wanna be savvy for your friends, let me reword this. If you wanna be savvy for your friends, you grab a few of these things here at the market, right? And then you put it together with a few nice touches like I'm gonna show you, okay? I am making a way through about 20 minutes before I get them something to eat. Anyways, ginger curry oil. Dried powdered ginger right across here. Florence from Starlight Herbs, great job. She does a great job. Wonderful, again, local, right up the road. Here most Saturdays. Ginger curry, I used a two to one ratio. I used one tablespoon of powdered ginger, two tablespoons of curry spice. Again, with the oil. Uh, what did I do here? I was just playing around one day, sorry. I just wanted different color oils, and so I'm going, how can I achieve that objective? This is their Southwest blend uh, and some more chili powder. I wanted more red, okay, once I had, so I used, uh, again, two to one. I used one tablespoon, and this is the quantity of oil, okay, no secrets here. This much oil, I used 
a tablespoon of their chili powder, Enzo chili powder, and their, and a, two tablespoons of their Southwest seasoning. Okay, so this is, that's what's behind this. That's the story. Again, I have some smoked salmon here. I have some potatoes. Oh, let's see what else I have. I have some fresh raspberries. I'll probably find, those will probably find their way onto the plate. I have Armenian cucumber. They're wonderful. Okay, up there on the left. Potatoes. A couple of vendors have potatoes. But again, you're going to also grab your smoked salmon where? Across the street. <laughs> Thank you, Porterhouse, which is at a booth across the street and their market across the highway, across another street. All right, so I have some fresh dill from right next door. How's it going? Doing all right, boss? You're doing great. Oh, thanks. Okay, cool. I was really nervous when I saw him walk up behind me. No water. There was four plates of salmon. That's pork. That's the pork loin. Uh, pork tendon. I don't yeah. that bread so What? Sharp knife? A little bit of attention. And plus, the consistency is such that you can. It's good. It's really nice. I love dark rye. It's very good. Okay, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go like that. And I also have a couple more things that I wanted to try. I don't think you'll be disagreeable to this, but I love these little... I love having some of the work done for me. So I have some here, some gar... This is a garlic grinder. It's dried garlic with some pepper. And I already put a little bit of that in there, so that so it start to bloom a little bit with the moisture. I have a little bit. Now this is cool. I'm going to use this for a garnish. I'll put a little bit right here. This is actually a salt. It's a black lava salt, and my objective in using this is for contrast. Okay, the dark black flecks. And then we have some toasted onion, and I'm going to throw. Sorry, toasted onion salt. I'm going to throw some green onions in there, and this is what makes up our potato salad. So again, I have potatoes that I that I cooked till they were fork tender, right? So how long did I cook them? Fork tender. Until they're fork tender, thank you. I don't know if that's 10 minutes or 20. Frankly, I couldn't tell you. Okay, I was wandering around, they were simmering, I didn't go too far, okay? And guess what? Some of them were probably done in 10 minutes and some might have taken a little longer, okay? You're gonna use your senses, right? Okay? Now, if you do want recipes, my friend Laura here is actually capturing footage for you and you're gonna see Laura for five bucks. You can get the prior week's demos and there, you can recreate your own recipe. In fact, do you have cards in here, though? Yeah. You have, she has cards written, written sorry, uh, slid into here. They don't necessarily have the quantities, but they have the components of each dish. Dish. So for five bucks, last week, lobster fried rice, elk steak sandwiches. Huh? Mm. Right? So what'd you miss last week? Lobster fried rice and elk steak sandwiches. So you're going to be here how often? Every, every week. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Catching on. Catching on. We have a good populace. <laughs> All right, am I getting long-winded? You guys hungry? Yeah, I, I, you're starting to glaze over. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to agree with this. <laughs> Let's see how this comes together, guys. Let me watch your hands. Okay, because the salmon is a nice designer sort of product, I'm actually not going to toss it in with the potatoes. I'm going to feature it right up top. Nice and prompt. Okay, so let's see how we do something like this. Any questions so far? Where did I get the salmon? Porterhouse. Where did I get all the produce? Here. Around here. Nice. Here. <laughs> right here at the market. Here's a potato salad. Yes, because of your patience. Some of you are going, dude, I'm not being very patient right now. Because of your patience, I will let you do it. Cut out a chicken can on both sides. Sure. Or you can look, Google magic line out of Gardenia, California. Order them yourself. Where are they? Food rings? I used to use them in my pastry shop to build individual desserts. Oh. Moose desserts. Striped sponge cake, cut around here, fill it with mousse, whatever, whatever. Um, 
That's worth the price of admission alone, huh? Getting every penny's worth. Working this one good, huh? Dave, thank you for the You're use welcome. of the product. Very You're nice. Welcome. Very nice. And guys, I'm serious about the fact that I tell you, I've tried an array of smoked salmon when I was living in Washington. I have not had better than this. Now, is this user friendly or what? Huh? Smoked salmon with large keepers. Yeah? Yeah. You know what? If I was charging you for this, <laughs> let me show you what I would do if I were charging. <clears throat> sorry, I probably wouldn't have broke it there if I was charging you for this. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, let's just get some color on the plate. I'm not going to be entirely symmetrical. And Again, produce all from the market. Salmon from Porterhouse here in Eagle. And let's use a little black. You know, I like control over how it's going on the plate. So. Mm. Just some texture, visual texture. You know, like the cheap salt goes on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so a little bit of something, I'd butter this bread probably. Just run a knife through it. I'm going to take care of you real soon guys. Something like so. And what are we missing? I probably have some butter here, maybe a, a, a some sort of butter, right, to spread on here. Sure. This needs three actually right here, there we go, one, two, three, visual correction. And that's an idea how one might do this. Okay, let me get something going for you. I'm gonna taste here. Know what you're see know what you're serving people, right? How are you gonna know that? Right? I uh, I kind of feel sorry for people automatically when they get a plate of food in front of them, go shake, shake, shake with the salt and pepper shake. Okay, so I have I didn't dress this with any mayo, right? Vinegar. Okay? When the potatoes were hot. And then I just simply threw in some stuff. You, saw, you guys saw. What do I have in there? I have um, all, the all, all kinds of stuff. Guess what I'm going to do? Let's just go like that. Okay? And it's going to give us some crunch. Remember, I did not put any I did not put any celery or onion or anything like that. We used some onion salt. I used some fresh dill. Or use a little tiny green onion fresh. Well, there you go. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good, good, good. So, you know, you can just, uh, I'll, I'll let you taste this here in a sec. Let me see where, where we are. A little bit of each. That works. And I'm sorry, you know, I just need to make sure I'm serving you something good, right? <clears throat> are you hungry? No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> I think you just want to eat it. <laughs> now I gotta try it with. <laughs> Here's what it needs. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I didn't show you what I do with the oils. Let me just show you really quick something. Here's there. If I were using the oils, all right, all right. So these oils that I that I have, like the uh, basil oil, nice green, right? And then I I generally wouldn't use three colors, but two would be appropriate probably. Okay. So and then here's a little yellow, and then here's, but I'm just you know just showing you how it looks on a nice white plate. Okay. So that's what I do with these oils. So cool. Now, if that ain't worth the price of admission, I don't know what is, guys. So, and my kids tell me I ain't got no good grammar. 
So, you know what I'm going to do is, I, instead of actually using the disposable things with which I give you samples usually, I'm going to cut these and I'm going to put some of that on the bread so you can try this wonderful dark rye. Cool with that? Perfect. No? Perfect. Even if there were objections, I probably would just proceed. <laughs> All right, guys, questions about anything? I'm sorry, anything food related associated with this demonstration? <laughs> did you put oil in the potatoes? I not? did put oh, I okay. did put a splash of my basil oil, like so. And I used the champagne vinegar, a little bit of salt, some of these things. Yeah, just kind of throwing a little bit of stuff together. Here. And all of the oil bases are olive oil, right? You know what? That's an excellent question. I'm glad you asked that. I used olive oil here. However, because I didn't want the green competing with my yellow or red, I actually used corn oil or something like that. Okay. Or peanut oil, something like that. So I'm looking. When I went searching out oil, I thought about that. Again, the finished look. Okay? Excellent question. Thank you. So wait, those aren't olive oil. This one is olive oil. Again, I did not want the green, but you can find olive oils that aren't really green, just mine was. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Is it falling? I mean, wouldn't you like crumble it up so then you could like eat it? Or do you sure? I'm not really sure. It's a really darn good question. <laughs> yeah, that's a real good question. See, but the higher I can get this plate of food, the more I can charge it. There you go. Excuse me. Dave? Yeah. Do we get seconds? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. Make a friend. There you go. <laughs> I'm not going to hold it for you. Maybe I'll try this. <laughs> as much as I, I like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> How do you store the oil? Excellent question. When I get home, I will put these in the freezer. Okay. Unless I am going to use, unless I'm going to use it over the course of the week, okay. And so I will put these in the freezer because then I'll come out here and play again next week with them, right? Good. You like that? Good, good, good. Good, good, good. good. So would you do that for regular? Yeah, I just leave it in the fridge. I would leave it in the fridge if you're going to use it, reg. You know, over the course of the week or two, right? And that's my window. About, you know two weeks. But I want this in the freezer because granted I'm going to bring it back next week and play some more. Okay? That, uh, probably co-op. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. Pappardelle egg noodle. Most stores have it. Yeah. Oh, Dave, you have Pappardelle, don't you? White egg noodle? At your store? No. But you have nice pastas over there. Don't you? Very good. Alright guys, I'm going to put a dollop of this stuff on this bread for you to try. So let me just build some samples for you. And is that all right? This is this agreeable, right? Does this work for you? Okay. You want the plate? Who said that? <laughs> you want to share it with someone? Huh? Yeah? Hmm. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this, some of this for the samples, okay? Sorry. I'm, you know what? Sorry about this. I'm just trying to think. Yeah. Um, you know what? Just because this part was eaten off of, I'll enjoy this later. <laughs> no, serious. There's, I, I was just thinking about that. I didn't think about that because, right? So we I'm didn't gonna. Double dip. I'm sorry. We didn't oh, you didn't double dip? dip? No. Well, then we're golden, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you were just trying to save that for yourself. Dang it! Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Shush. Shush. All right, guys. Let me uh, quit messing around and get some food. Here. Eat. I want my plate back. No. <laughs> Like two years ago, I had plates disappear. You know what I mean? Jeez. Jeez, you are overstepping your bounds now. You give someone an inch and I... Alright guys. Building samples. Questions? You guys have been great. I want to see you shopping, okay? See you shopping or no sample for you next week.